hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to learn how we can paint snowflakes so i'm going to create some circle here so if you have rounder you can create smaller circle and bigger circle easily if you don't have rounder don't worry i'm not going to use rounder here i'm using this cap to create circle so let's create one here and then we need to divide this into multiple equal halves like a pizza so i'm not doing this with the help of a scale so if you want to do it very precisely you can do it with the help of a scale as well so divide this into two equal halves then again into four equal halves basically we need to create eight pies here we are doing this because snowflakes need some precision in the design so that's why we need these these lines so uh either you can do it very precisely with the scale and uh whatever tool you have or you can do it uh like this like what i'm doing here and i'm using this bigger brush this is size 7 round brush to create smaller and bigger structure both you can is use a smaller brush as well so let's start with the first one so for the first one start with first string first line so what i'm doing i'm creating group of two leaves so these are my two leaves group of two leaves so these are two group so i'm going to repeat this for the alternate lines i am leaving one one line in between and i am repeating the same process i'm using only tip of my brush to create these small small petals and i'm doing it in the alternate lines and in the center you can fill it like a circle now for the rest of the other lines what we have to do is we are going to create one single leaf kind of structure so create a straight line and then create a leaf kind of structure which is going through the line straight leaf straight leaf means i'm not moving my brush towards left towards right just straight like this let me show you in the rough just straight line don't move brush towards left towards right now if you move your brush towards left towards right you will get something like this what we are doing in other leaves now come back to the first line and create two bigger leaves like this and then smaller leaf and then two diagonal lines okay we need to repeat this in all the alternate lines and in the diagonal lines we need to create group of few smaller leaves and one straight leaf repeat the same thing in the other line as well and one straight leaf which is going beyond the circle which is fine and we are going to repeat this in the all alternate lines let me show you one more and then we can skip to other two so two diagonal line two 
bigger leaves one smaller leaf and group of smaller leaves in the diagonal lines always finish with a straight line uh sorry straight leaf and repeat it for the alternate lines we are able to achieve this precision because we have all these lines so these lines are absolutely important do not ignore all these lines now let's finish the other lines as well so we are not going to repeat the same thing and these lines i am creating two big big leaves uh in the upper section where we have created these diagonal lines i'm creating two bigger leaves for the alternate lines likewise you can create any other design whatever you like the only thing you need to consider here is you have to do it uh with very precise uh, lines and structure and then create few smaller line smaller leaves in between and then finish this line with the straight leaf and uh, we are done with the first snowflake and uh, i think it's beautiful and this one is pretty much uh, uh with the design and complexity so second one i will show you with the less complex structure in this so for the second one i'm going to fill the middle section with the leaf kind of structure for all the lines one leaf and then pick one line any one line and start so create group of one smaller leaf and one bigger leaf alternate till the end till you reach the circumference of this circle and finish with the straight leaf so i have created smaller bigger smaller bigger like this and we need to repeat this for all the alternate lines when you do these kind of things in the alternate lines you get precision in it and then you can uh design something else in between based on whatever size you have left in between i think i can repeat uh the same kind of structure so what i'm doing here i'm creating two smaller leaves first and then i'm creating one bigger leaf and then one smaller leaf and finishing with straight leaf so this one is pretty simple as compared to the first one smaller bigger smaller bigger in the first alternate lines and then two group of uh, smaller and one bigger and one smaller in the other alternate lines and that's it you are done with the second one as well likewise you can do a number of designs uh based on your liking and your design choices now the third one is pretty much different than the first two so in this one what i'm doing is i'm creating a two straight line like this and then 
with the help of tip of my brush i am creating this structure which is like you can say mountain kind of structure so somewhere we have a bigger mountain somewhere we have a smaller mountain something like that and you need to create the replica or the mirror image in the opposite side so make sure you are doing it i'm also keeping the negative space in between so make sure you also have the negative space uh the shades should be lighter and darker combination of all the uh light and dark shade and negative space so something like this so this is like a uh, water reflection of same thing what we have created in the upper section we're doing it in the lower section as well and repeat this for the all the lines so first i'm doing this for the alternate lines and then i'm going to repeat for the other lines as well based on whatever space i have left now you have understand this so let's create two more now as you can see we have less space in between so i am repeating the same thing but uh, as per my space uh, so i have less space so i am creating this smaller structure in between but i am creating the same thing again you can utilize these snowflakes to create greeting cards as well so create some background with the soft colors of snow like blue and purple sprinkle some salt in it to create some snowy background in it and create one snowflake uh, like this and then you're done with your greeting card so likewise you can create greeting card as well for this christmas and uh, you can also create bookmarks using these snowflakes and we are done with the third one as well so this one is pretty simple but uh, you should be comfortable with uh, uh, doing these kind of structure so now let's start with the fourth one so fourth one is also like first and the second one only but this time i'm keeping it simple very simple so i'm creating group of smaller le leaf till the mark that i have created in each line and then i'm creating a bigger leaf and then smaller than the bigger leaf and then smaller than that and one straight line so create few smaller leaves one bigger smaller than the bigger and then smaller than this and one straight leaf repeat this for other two and 
as you can see we have less space in between so we can uh do something else in between so let's do uh one straight leaf maybe so let's create a single leaf for all four lines likewise you can think anything and then you can create group of smaller leaves like this and we are done with the fourth one as well now you can rub all the unwanted pencil mark so hope you have liked this video do let me know if you guys have any feedback for me and thank you so much for all your love and support and thank you so much for watching my videos see you guys in the next video